Hey guys, it is Chris T and today I was going to be working on a video. But that's actually taking a lot longer than I anticipated it would take to even just do the preliminary things that I didn't even need to record. So instead of doing that, I'm actually just going to switch this over and do a Studio Ghibli redraw. I've been seeing the hashtag all over and <laughs> I think I'm very late to this already and by the time this video goes up it's going to be even later so that's always a nice thing to look forward to but I've been seeing people drawing some of my favorite Ghibli characters and I've loved it. I, I love seeing some of my favorite artists redraw, do some fan art of Studio Ghibli because I mean who doesn't like to see fan art of their favorite things from their favorite artists drawing their favorite things. So I've been inspired, I've been wanting to do it as well so I think I'm just going to do that today since other things didn't pan out and I already know what I want to do. I want to do Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. I've been seeing actually a lot of Howl and I think it's because he is just the best. <laughs> he is the most precious boy. Um, I love him so I'm going to do him and let me know in the comments below if you prefer Howl with blonde hair or with dark hair because I'm just curious to see what you guys like and I know exactly which one I like and you will just see immediately when you see what I draw because gonna draw him with my favorite hair of course um so yeah so let's flip this around and let's go ahead and get into it i'm gonna be using procreate just because i feel like it'll be a whole lot easier that's that's the whole reason it's gonna be easier so i'm gonna do the easy thing because a watercolor painting of Hal is gonna take a lot more time and i've already wasted a lot of time doing not a lot of work all right let's go <laughs> Okay, so switching this to a speed paint, as you can clearly see, I am drawing Howl with the darker hair. That is my favorite of the Howl hairstyles. And I did do the sketching in Procreate. I'm still trying to get used to sketching in Procreate. I am a little bit more used to sketching traditionally. So there is a lot that I still have to play around with and learn about. Um, and this whole first part is just me sketching and it's very, very sketchy. And I was just trying to figure out some things, trying to change things as I go, trying to get it pretty close to how he actually looks. But of course, in my style, I do think there are some things that I still, looking back, would like to change. And this was such a fun thing to do, this Ghibli redraw challenge, that I do think that I want to do it again and draw Hal some more. I do have some more pictures that I saved on my phone. And I kind of want to try him in a little few different outfits. But this one was kind of my favorite. I really like him with the hat. I don't know what it is about the hat, but I just... I love that look for him, even though he was like in disguise. Really love that look. So speaking of Howl's Moving Castle, this is actually the first Studio Ghibli film that I ever saw. I want to say that I saw it in either fourth or fifth grade. We were in art class. My teacher was a huge fan of Studio Ghibli and she introduced it to the film. We got to watch it um, over a course of a few days while we didn't have much art to do. It was close to summertime, so it was really great. I just remember being in the classroom and all of us youngins laughing at Howl as he was naked being carried up the stairs by Sophie so it's just a good memory and Howl's Moving Castle is also my favorite movie I think in part that has to do with the fact that it was the first Studio Ghibli movie that I saw and I also think it's because I just love the romance in it I love how sweet it is and I just I just love it and I've seen a lot of Studio Ghibli movies I haven't seen them all but I am working through my way there's only a few that I haven't seen I'm, I'm trying to see Ponyo but besides that I've seen most I've definitely seen Kiki's Delivery Service. I've definitely seen Spirited Away, Porco Rosso, Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind, um, the, the Graveyard of Fireflies, uh, Princess Mononoke. Oh man, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of all of them right now. But uh, the Cat Returns. So I've seen a good amount of Studio Ghibli movies, and this one still holds true as my favorite. And of course, I own it. I don't own all Studio Ghibli movies, but I do own Howl's Moving Castle. And again, I think it goes back to the fact that it was the first movie I saw, and it just brings me joy just thinking back to that moment of being in fourth or fifth grade seeing it. But it's just such a sweet movie, and I just love it. It's just. I don't know it's just so magical and I think when I first saw it that's just what I thought that this was just so magical and one of the reasons I like Studio Ghibli movies so much and why I like anime so much is because you kind of get used to the same stereotypes and tropes that you see um, coming from a western civilization the the cliches the things that have to do with norms of our cultures our values but seeing these movies that come from Japan you get to immerse yourself in a whole completely different culture, completely different set of beliefs, religions, styles, and, and 
societal norms and i really love that i love that newness that freshness that i feel when i see movies and shows from japan and this movie was one of those that like i saw things that i never saw before that idea of this woman this girl becoming old and her just like bossing through it it was not even a big factor like she was just killing the old game and then the door in house moving castle that changes the color tile and the place that you're in i love that the castle itself is just a masterpiece i remember looking at that and just being like wow that's awesome and one thing i really like about studio ghibli movies and hayao miyazaki is that he creates such beautiful depictions of nature and also technology his the nature in the movies are fantastic and whimsical and they make you want to be there and the technology the planes the the technical structures that he does are also just super fantastic and so yeah so i definitely wanted to give a shout out to this this company and do this challenge and i definitely want to do some more just because i did have a fun time there are some things i didn't like with this drawing i didn't like how big I made his eyes and I feel like it does look a little bit stiff but that's something that I struggle with all the time so that's something I definitely need to work on but before this video ends I also wanted to give you my favorite quote from the movie and that is from Hal it says sorry I've had enough running away Sophie now I've got something I want to protect it's you and I just love that it's just such a cute it's such a beautiful moment and I think that's the big thing about this movie the character development is amazing and you can kind of see that in the color hair changes like sophie becoming gray hair and keeping that hair it just shows her like what she's been through and how being such a person of looking pretty and looks and just kind of now having to deal with this new things and these new emotions i just love it that's why i like him with the dark hair because it shows his growth and his his development so i hope you guys enjoy this video um i don't have much to say and i know we're coming close to the end thank you so much for watching please have a great day a great week a great life be blessed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.